Now the kicker, Brandon McManus, about ready to get us started. And we are underway from Pittsburgh. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. coming up well any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly and that was because the defensive front they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage they used great leverage held their spot and stacked him up Warren will try the right side and give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. But just play number three here on the opening drive, and it's an early third and one. Now run straight ahead with Warren. And he will have the Steelers first down as they're able to convert on third and short yardage with a gain of four. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and ten. Now they'll throw it with Trubisky. Oh, his first throw of the game, going to be intercepted. Picked off by Tyson Campbell. And the Jags are going to take over here up near the 40. Well, certainly not how he wanted to start his night. First throw of the game, an INT. Yeah, it's not easy, but he's got to try and wipe that one away from the memory banks. And let's face it, it's not often a quarterback and a defensive back have a lot in common. But one thing, because they have these individual type plays, they've got to have short memories, don't they? DB gets beat, wipe it away, quarterback throws a pick, has to do the same thing. But now here's a deep shot that's complete. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. A very solid gain of 27. Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 34. Here's Lawrence. And this one is incomplete. Oh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. That's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. From the shotgun, Lawrence. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. Got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Jaguar. Evan Ingram, 34 yards. And the Jaguars take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. Their first passing touchdown of the ball game, and they go to the big tight end in those sure hands, and he provides the score. Certainly looked like they were focused on taking away other weapons, and he certainly made them regret that because he found the soft spot. Ended up taking it to the end zone. Nice throw, too, to complete the play. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And able to get this out to the 25. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others. Where they think they have an advantage, dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Now it's Trubisky. Now a short pass pulled in by Washington. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Now it's Trubisky. And he'll get it right back to Washington. And that's good for a gain of six. And that's going to bring up second down. 
Again, it's Trubisky. Got his man, it's Warren. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 25-yard line. Out of the gun, Trubisky. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. Pickens going in motion left. Again on second and ten, it's Trubisky. And that throw behind his man, he missed him, incomplete. That play call wasn't there for them against that coverage. So they're going to spin the dial now in their playbook and come up with one more shot at the marker to try and keep this series going. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Trubisky to throw again. Oh, it's intercepted. A drive killer there. Rayshon Jenkins picks it off. And the Jaguars are going to have it here as they'll start at their own seven. At their own seven-yard line. let's go. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. They got the ball now following a big play, keeping the other guys out of the end zone. Now they'll start deep in their own territory, first and 10. Second and 14 as they've got work to do here after the sack. Now Lawrence. He's going to look deep down the field. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. Now a timeout called for by the defense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Now Lawrence on third and long. And he is caught, and all the way to the 25 before he's hit and dropped. After one, seven, nothing. Audie Sports. Hey, go, 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 go. On first and ten, it's Lawrence. And incomplete. A drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. Now second and 10 at the 25-yard line. Lawrence. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. I think he had to move that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. In motion right is Ridley. On third down, Lawrence. Aaron it out, looking for Ridley. And unable to connect, incomplete. Give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Now that's a good bounce back after giving up a touchdown on the opening drive. Just one first down permitted and then out. Obviously no loss of confidence with that defense. And now they get to turn it back to their offense. In motion right is Ridley. They're going on fourth down. Lawrence airing it out, looking for Ridley. And that's caught inside the 30. And he is going to have the Jaguars first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Put a man in motion left, Ridley. 
Sink right open. Open. Throwing again here. It's Lawrence. And it's complete right back to Ridley. That he's brought down, but he has it down to the 12. All right, man. Good game. and 10. The Steelers signal for the second of their timeouts. That's their second, so they'll have one remaining here in this second quarter. We'll be right back. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Now Lawrence. Flushed out right. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. I certainly like what he did right there because he smartly wanted to avoid forcing anything downfield because nothing appeared to be open. Nice harmless slide there to avoid the big hit. And he gets a small gain on the play. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. Sometimes I think these defensive tackles get a little bit of a bum rap. We just see them as big guys that eat up blockers for others to make tackles. Oftentimes they're quicker than they get credit for. And this time he uses quickness to make a play. I got him, I got him. On third down, here's ETN. And he'll be brought down well short of the first at about the nine-yard line. Just a gain of two there, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. The kick by McManus is good. So another scoring drive there, Charles, and an early two-score lead. You'd like the six there, partner, but you'll take the three, and I think they have to be happy about the way they moved the ball in these first two drives. They have to feel good about their opportunities the rest of the game. Taking it about the one. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And it's been a miserable start for them offensively, obviously. Two drives, two interceptions. And this is where you have to know your quarterback and know how you actually have to reach him. Do you do it with a little bit of humor? Maybe you break the ice a little bit like, hey, didn't we practice in that color jersey all week, not the one that you're throwing it to? Or maybe you have to be stern with him. But whatever it's going to take to get the message, it has to be done. He's putting the game in jeopardy. Here's Trubisky. It's brought in by Harris. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. It's a Pittsburgh first down, a gain of 13. And the Steelers first down. Warriors 17. First and 10 at the 44 yard line. Here's Trubisky to throw. His throw is going to be incomplete. Oh, I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand, and that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. Now a second and ten. Now Trubisky. throw is incomplete. It feels like they're getting caught in between here because that incompletion's on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. Throwing once more, it's Trubisky. A short one there to Fryermuth. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. 
He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. Yeah, these are the types of plays we're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first halves, but this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. On first down, Trubisky. No, oh, and that is incomplete. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earn a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. Second and 10. The Jaguars are going to go ahead and use their first timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Throwing here, Trubisky. A short one there to fire you. Well, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. The passing game in rhythm right now for Pittsburgh. There's another first down. Now Trubisky to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And that is incomplete. Well, they certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. Second and 10, it's Trubisky again. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. Picked off by Tyson Campbell. And the Jags will take over here as they get it up to the 43-yard line. They'll take over first and 10 at their own 43-yard line. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. They'll start in excellent field position following the INT. went down near the 20 yard line just shy of the 20 36 yards on the play so the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10 a shotgun snap and again the ETN and they've got it inside the 10 at the 8 now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play Motion man left is Kirk. The Lawrence will throw. And the screen unsuccessfully dropped it. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Only a yard there, and that'll bring us to third and goal. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half on as the field goal unit to see about getting three points. And now they'll take a timeout defensively. After the second down play, they burn the timeout, making him sweat out the final few ticks here in the second quarter. The kick by McManus is good. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. 
The Jaguars in possession of the lead, and they will get the football as we are underway in this second half. And we will not see a return to start the half as this will be a touchback. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. This offense set to begin the third quarter, and Charles, if they had a checklist of things they wanted to accomplish in the first half, certainly at the top of that list would be having the lead, and they've got that here. That's always the most important box to check, isn't it? But also, they've had some success in their passing game, so probably an empty box establishing the run. They're on pace for fewer than 100 yards in this one, so now they want to make sure that they get that going so they truly have a control in this ball game and down the stretch, being able to be balanced, either throw it or run it and try to win this ball game. And the pressure gets to Lawrence and he'll go down. Multiple defenders there to drop him for a loss of four. And no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? Yeah, and that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guy. And this is caught inside the five. Touchdown. Calvin Ridley, 53 yards. As his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. Now Lawrence changing the play. Hey, I'm going, 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 going. Now whistles here. And I believe one of the Jaguar linemen might have moved. Lawrence and the Jags offense staying out there. They'll go for two here. Hey, kill, kill. Kill, kill. 11, 11. Take right open, open. 11, 11. Red, red. They'll look to throw. And he's got it. So they decide to still go for it, even after the five-yard penalty. And they convert. And that one was made so tough by the penalty, pushing them back to the seven. They still got it done, though. Yeah, and the big surprise is that the extra point unit doesn't run out there with the kicker. Okay, you move it back to the seven. But they felt like they needed to have it, and they felt like they had a good play call, and they were successful. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. Here's Anthony McFarland to return from his end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. 16 more on that one and another first down. A handoff for Warren. 42 yards rushing for him now to this point. Consecutive positive runs for him on the last two snaps. He certainly appears to be trying to put the offense on his back and just move them down the field when his number is called. The way he's running it, I keep going back to him. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. That's another Steelers first down. They run again with Harris. And he's going to be... Hey, turn the celebrity clock on, man. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. No gain on the play. Second and ten. At the 36-yard line. Now they'll throw it with Trubisky. Jaguar pressure and a Jaguar sack. Let's see what they draw up here. Third and long following the sack of Trubisky. He'll look to throw. 
Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 22-yard line. Harris running straight ahead. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. 14 more yards. Tyson Campbell on the first down, and they go back to Harris. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another. Back now in Pittsburgh. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. They come up here with another shot from the six yard line and it's second and goal now. They hand this off to Harris. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. From the seven now, it's third and goal. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. The field goal doesn't help. They're going to go for the six here on fourth and goal. They run for it with Harris. And he's not going to get there. They tackle him at the two. Now the Steelers use the first step aside here in the fourth quarter. Lawrence from his end zone. Quick hitter here, it's complete. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Let's go, go. Let's go, let's go. Here's Lawrence. And he gets this one to Ridley complete. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. And the offense moving quickly to the line. On third and one, it's Lawrence. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. And that's one of the few things that has not gone right for this offense so far. They've had their share of big plays. That was nearly another. But somehow, he just couldn't squeeze it. And they'll try and throw for it with Lawrence. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Jags first down as he's brought to the ground after a gain of seven, five more than he needed on fourth and two. Here's Lawrence to throw. He's going to loft one deep over the middle. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Lawrence going to throw again. Eluding the pressure right. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. Yeah, he'll get this one way up, just shy of the 45-yard line. 27 yards there, a first down. Red on red. Hey, kill, kill. Lock, lock, lock. Looking to throw, Lawrence. Aaron it out, looking for Ridley. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Partner, you and I have struggled with this for years. You've got the lead. Just take care of the football and burn some of that clock. But there's something to be said for not taking your foot off the gas as well because you can never have too big of a cushion. That one, though, falls incomplete. This is caught inside the 15. It's a big play for the Jaguars. And even 50 yards. So it's Jaguar football here as we welcome you back. They've got it first and goal in a game that appears to have already been decided. Now Lawrence to throw. Forced out to his left. And he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. Trevor Lawrence. 
A six-yard touchdown run. And the Jaguars drive the entire length of the field, 99 yards for the score. Now McManus to tack on the extra point. It's good, and they stretch their lead to 28 0 now. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one. It's through the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. It's been a tough go for them. It's still without any points here in the fourth quarter and a big deficit, Charles. But they moved the football on some drives. They just haven't had any points. Yeah, and I know in their minds they're thinking the game plan has actually been working. We just haven't scored points. Well, isn't that the bottom line, partner, to put points on the board? So if you're moving it and you're not scoring, is it really working? Right now they've got nothing left to lose. They might as well go for broke. They go play action with Trubisky. Being chased out left. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. On second down, Trubisky. And his throw here is incomplete. But it just seems like all game long there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at. That he's going to go out of bounds. Gigantic loss. Kept retreating. Steps out. That goes down as a sack and a big loss of yardage. No choice but to go. Here's fourth down now. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that's caught inside the 35. And he is going to have the Steelers first down. And it is a big letdown there defensively. They somehow allowed to convert on fourth and long. On the give, it's Warren. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. So this will be a win for Jacksonville. And this was truly a total team effort, Charles, on both sides of the ball. No, they absolutely pitched a shutout, so it can't get much better than that, right? The defense led the way, but the offense did their part as well. They moved the ball up and down the field. So you've got to like what you saw. What do they call that? A total team effort? I think when it's time to hand out games,